There are a couple of giants in South Africa's highly competitive supermarket and hyperstore industry, and most of them owe their success to an international model, tried, tested, and at times reworked to either satisfy or even create market needs. But the corporate family business KitKat, with its origins in Pretoria in the early 50s, ignores the supermarket approach by concentrating on the big box format. With a heritage of many years of hard work and courage unique to the industry, today the KitKat Group is flexing its muscles and has become the new giant on the wholesale and retail block. The growth of KitKat as a brand and what it means to me, it's all about passion and a long-term vision uh, that developed uh, whilst I started working for a company, for a boss for an employer. Incidentally, that happened to me in my last job too. Customer service, mm -hmm. uh, customer excellence, customer being the boss. Those are the values we uphold in our organization. The political dispensation in 94, uh, economic streams went up humongously. And the trade was bursting by the seams. And I suppose we were at the right place at the right time. KitKat has grown into a household name, and the Gunny family takes pride in the values that have defined their path over the last 50 years. But the present day KitKat is also well aware that growth and reinvention go hand in hand. Well, like the country, uh, so change, uh, so did we. Uh, we started this cash, KitKat Cash and Carry in 1992, which was uh, approximately 1,500 square meters in size. Uh, the business then evolved from there, uh, where as a family we started adding categories, we started adding product ranges to the store. Uh, again, at being attentive to the, the customer, we, we needed to, to bring in more and more product. Uh, we started becoming popular amongst the, the bigger consumers and, and a broader, con, broader spectrum of consumers. Uh, now that we were allowed to trade outside of, of uh, the Asiatic Bazaar, where we originally started, so we, we had now uh, in, in the Pretoria West area where you had a cosmopolitan market. So uh, we, had to re, uh, we had to understand our consumer again. I mean, today we are opening stores in East London, uh, in Louis Trichat. Uh, we had to do market surveys, market studies, understand the end consumer, understand the, 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 the trader, the retailer. What products do they want? What brands do they want? So it's, it's a very different uh, business model, but at that time we had to understand where we were going. And then the journey has been brilliant. Uh, it's been absolutely amazing. By taking its big box format to the road, KitKat is now also in the distribution business with deliveries to restaurants, hotels and guest houses and even petrol stations. I must say that we've had tremendous support from our peers, our parents, uh, my father uh, and my late uncle. Uh, in any venture that we would put forward to them, uh, they would obviously you know, give us their full support in that. And secondly, you know, our current generation of, of traders, myself, my brothers, um, you know, the, 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 the new modern thinking has, has come into play. And, and, and uh, that has helped us uh, take this business to the next level. Of course, we've got a phenomenal management team that also work with us. And, and putting that all together has, has, has definitely uh, helped us succeed in this, in this new era. With plans for more stores in the pipeline and with a mandate to continually reinvest, KitKat has gotten the hybrid retail wholesale model spot on. The only way we, we survived and we do it till today is we run very low cost operations, uh, uh, lean mean organizations. That's what I actually term it today. We run a lean mean organization and uh, that I think is, is uh, key to one of our, the reasons for our success. Uh, where we take most of our profits and, and put it back into capital. Uh, and it allows us to continuously capitalize our business. We plan on becoming a national player in this FMCG industry of, of South Africa, Africa. Our philosophy is very simple. Go big or go home. 
I think 99, 2000 was a very crucial year for us as a family where we finally understood uh, that this business can no longer be uh, what people, what family businesses term it to be, you know, a family business. Uh, we had to re create, we had to reinvent our, ourselves as an organization. And uh, what we proudly created from that point onwards to today is a corporate family business. Uh, which means it's a business that is only owned by the family, but it's run by an effective corporatized structure. Uh, there's a management team in place. Uh, we realized that our family was too small uh, to think that we'll do it all on our own. So we had to bring in people, uh, management, and we grew our family. It's, it's, uh, everybody that is employed by this company is part of this family. That, that's something we very proud of. Uh, again, it's become part of the family culture, uh, so everybody understands that once you join this family, uh, you're part and parcel of this family, and then you will grow with the family. For us, change, we just love it. So we, we have to adapt to the ever-changing economy. We have to adapt to the ever-changing world. It's just the reality of life. And if one doesn't understand that, then you're living in the dark ages. 1999 was indeed a turning point for the KitKat Group as they opened the new cash and carry in Pretoria West. Today it stands as a symbol of the realization of many of the family's dreams. This flagship store has over 300 staff members, a 50,000 strong product range and 36 tills that operate full time. It's continuous, it's ongoing, it's never ending. Um, it's strenuous too. Uh, the idea is to keep uh, the customer happy all the time, so there is no room for error, no downtime allowed, and uh, to keep up with the ongoing changes of technology is quite strenuous actually. One has to just keep up with, with, with the trends and go forward that way. Expanding into all avenues of the retail industry has added value to the KitKat group as a whole. This is a brand that's continuously extending its reach into the market. After extensive studies and research, BuildMart was created, and with the KitKat Group's principles firmly in hand, the new generation of the Ghani family is developing a business that's already showing signs of competing with the best out there. Well, being thrown into the deep end, it's very difficult not understanding the business at all. I had to find ways to swim. I would say to be able to run and develop a business, you've got to understand the business as a whole. I was fortunate enough to have the guidance of my father, who advised me to start from the bottom and work my way up to the top. Being fully focused, planning is key, and uh, the idea is you've got to see light at the end of the tunnel, and you've got to work towards that light. I mean, you can't sit, sit back, you've got to take the opportunities. The learnings, the heritage and the experience that we as a family have in the retail industry from KitKat. I would say that's been the greatest assistance to us thus far. Uh, our, our given intention is to be the greatest that we possibly can be in the retail industry. The plan is to create a national base of stores beginning here in Gauteng and then moving on from there. Uh, we currently have four Belmont stores in Gauteng uh, since the inception of Belmont, which was seven years ago. Whilst Buildmont has become the new competitor in the hardware and building arena, the KitKat name is steadily becoming a national player in the retail industry, and with stores springing up all over the country. Ultimately, the relationship between the store and its customers lies at the heart of KitKat's success story, and its mission to be the leader in its field. You will find that uh, the chairman of uh, a family-owned business is available 24 hours a day, seven days a week uh, uh, for you. And also it's an uh, on-hands operation where people are involved uh, with you 24 hours a day. Being part of a family and a corporate uh, family-owned business uh, makes the life far, far easier for people. Adding to the solid foundation that has been built over the last 50 years and creating an excellent platform from which to grow, the future looks bright for the KitKat brand. Currently, there are over 2,000 supermarkets and superstores in South Africa, and it's within this highly competitive terrain that the KitKat name is making inroads and having competitors sit up and watch a new giant on the rise.